Yes, my peoples, it's T, and today we have another unboxing and review of the DJI Mavic Mini drone. Let's get it. So as you can see, um, this is the Fly More combo version of the Mavic Mini. Um, it comes with not only the drone and the controller itself, but it also comes with a bunch of other additional items so you can fly more, hence the name. So let's get started with the unboxing. So inside the box, let's see what we have inside. So it comes with a case to carry the drone and a few of the accessories. Um, so I opened this up shortly as well. So put it to the side. So it comes with two propeller guards. Um, so let me take these out casing for you. Um, put these away. Let's open this up. It's a little bit tricky. There we go. And second propeller guard. So obviously these are to attach onto the actual drone propellers themselves. And especially, you know, if you're a new flyer to a drone, um, you can put this on and you can fly through trees, for example, and it protects um, the drone and the propellers from being damaged. And you can just get through tight spaces essentially, which is very useful. So let's put, put it all to the side, see what else is in the box. Okay, a box of mini combo accessories. So let's see what we have in store. As you can see, it comes with a bunch of spare propellers. So if you happen to damage any of the propellers on the drone itself, um, you can replace those there without having to spend any additional money. Um, inside this bag, let me open this up. Um, these are additional connect connectors for the controller. So if you have an Android, an Android phone or any other phone that uses a USB-C um, or a USB mini connection, you can actually attach this and use your phone inside the controller, which I'm sure we'll get to at some point in this unboxing. Um, and this also comes with a little, uh, let me open this up for you as well, comes with a screwdriver for you to be able to attach these spare propellers to your drone. Cool, let's open up one of these propellers as well, just so you can see how they look. This is um, fresh out of the packets here. So difficult to open. Also comes with, with the screws as well. So let me put these screws out here. Four little screws, hopefully I don't lose, lose those. Um, and I can't even get into the, this bag is really tight, but at least it comes securely packaged and fresh propellers for you to see right here. Nice, see what else is we have inside. Just, just, just to show you what we actually have inside the box left. Um, so we have um, an actual connector, um, which is clearly not for the UK. Um, so, so you can charge your drone batteries. Um, so that's a little spare one there, in case you're gonna be using your drone abroad. You already have an adapter that you can use without having to buy something separate. So put that back in the box, because that will not be used in the UK. And we have another box here. Let's see what's inside. And this just comes with all your little instruction manuals and user guides and also your guarantee, etc., um, which is obviously quite useful to have if you're very new to the world of drone flying. And we have a couple of final items in the box. Comes with USB cable. This is um, most likely to charge either the controller or the drone itself, um, which we'll get onto shortly. Um, never a quick start guide in case you don't want to read the big manuals, which I just showed you. Um, a little quick start guide here, which shows you how to actually connect everything up and get going. The drone. And then finally inside this box, um, it's not in here, it's empty. <laughs> But what was in here um, are the batteries which come with the drone, but I've already placed those inside of the main case for easy carrying. So let's take a look in the main box now. Comes with a carry case, pretty nice, sleek design, just easy to carry around anywhere um, on your journeys when you need to use the drone. Um, comes with a little embossed little rubber logo as well on there saying DJI Mavic Mini. So let's open this up. So it, it's opened via a zip and nice and secure. 
and inside as you can see it comes with the drone itself um, the battery pack charger and the drone remote control as well so let's unpack these one by one so firstly let's take out the battery pack so i believe this battery pack um, can charge up to three batteries at a time um, as you can see easy to slide out um, so it comes with three batteries i have two in here at the moment and one already placed inside of the drone and i believe it comes with a 18 18 watt charger so it charges them pretty quickly pretty fast and essentially for 90 minutes of charging you get 30 minutes of battery life or flying time from each each of these battery packs so with the fly more combo you do receive three batteries as opposed to one that you get in the original packaging um, and this allows you to fly for up to 90 minutes um, as you have three 30 minute batteries here so that's very useful to keep you in the air when you're shooting your videos okay so that's the battery pack um move on to the controller so the controller again is pretty sleek fits nicely into into the box um and these are the antennas which when you're flying you need to kind of twist these open make sure that they're pointing up up towards the drone itself to get the maximum range um the range itself um, we'll get onto that later on but it does allow you to to fly indoor and outdoors um, and there's a maximum flying height of around 36.5 meters which is quite some distance um, so as you can see um, the actual controller itself doesn't have any joysticks but these are nicely smartly hidden underneath the handles so once I open these handles here you can see um, inside here is a little storage compartment where you can actually take out the joysticks and quickly and very easily attach them to the controller itself and to be fair the controller won't even actually work until you connect these I don't know how it knows but it doesn't even work until you connect these and again helps you to fly the drone very easily so I, I already have the the iPhone connector connected to the actual um, drone itself and this allows you to put your phone into the cradle um, and connect to your phone and then there's a, there is a smartphone app that comes along with the DJI drones which allows you to see exactly where you are perform um, a few of the features and um, it's kind of used as a, as a viewpoint for the camera on the drone itself so you can see where you're going see where you are hit record hit photos etc um, so very useful tool here um, of course, if you have a larger phone, you can stretch these out so you can fit. Um, for example, if you have an iPhone Pro Max, it can easily fit in here. It's quite a snug fit. Um, it can be quite a faff around to kind of put put it in and take it out. Um, but there are also um, after, aftermarket adapters to kind of connect to larger items such as an iPad or an, a mini tablet so you can see more of what you're flying with, essentially. So this is the controller. Um, very very nice and sleek design so let me just set that aside um, of course on the controller you do have some manual buttons too which you won't really use much because you'll be mostly using the buttons within the smartphone app itself when you have your phone connected but it does have a record button for quick access and it does have a, have a picture um, button as well so you can take quick photos and a little slider at the back, at the back so you can adjust the camera um, to be up or down essentially um, so yeah, that's everything on the controller and of course an on button and a home button. So that's the controller. Moving on to the main piece, the main piece. As you can see, very, very sleek. Um, you never think such a tiny device can actually um, pack such a powerful punch. It's able to actually um, fly very high, very quick, very fast, but also smooth as well as um, taking high quality photography. So um, this is the Mavic Mini in all its glory, as you can see. So let's open this up. As you can see, the propellers here, um, they can be opened up. So obviously when you're, you're ready to fly, this is how you actually engage um, the different arms of the drone to be able to actually take off. and. Yep, it's still quite a mini once you open it up, but um, obviously it has a larger form factor. 
Um, one of the features of this particular drone is because it's very, very light um, and it only weighs 249 grams, this means that it can be flown without an official drone flying license anywhere. Um, anything heavier than 249 grams, you have to have a drone flying the license um, and you cannot fly, you cannot legally fly that drone um, at that weight. So very, very useful um, to, to be able to kind of get into the world of drone flying while still having top quality imagery. As you can see, open at the back here, um, this is where the battery is stored. Again, very easy to remove the battery. Um, you can literally just slide it out, comes out very easily, slide it back in um, and it just slots in there, clicks into place. Um, just below that section, you have um, the section for your SD card slot. At the moment, I have a 128 gigabyte um, SD card slot in there, which um, stores more than enough um, files very easily. And that's also um, a kind of USB mini port, so you can actually charge um, the battery directly in the drone. However, I never do that. I normally charge it directly in the 18 watt battery pack, so it's charged it nice and quick. Um, and then if I remove this cap here, you can see the kind of main item why people like drones is the gimbal for the camera. So the camera is stored obviously in this section of the drone and as you can see, it's not switched on right now, but as you can see, it's pretty sturdy and it's on the gimbal, um, which helps you to get those very smooth professional TV quality shots as well. So the camera itself is a 12 megapixel camera and it can shoot video in up to 2.7K HD. Um, so not fully, fully um, 4K, but it's close enough and to be fair, when you do take um, recordings and you do actually play it back, you can't really tell if it's 4K or, or not. It's such such high quality and so smooth. So definitely recommend the, um, the, the imagery that comes from this drone. And for me personally as well, the ease, the ease of use, ease of flying as well. Um, so definitely recommend that. The drone itself can also perform a number of um, features, a number of tricks. So it has one called Helix. So Helix, this is where um, it takes off and it spins around you and it goes around and goes around and it kind of gives you a beautiful view of the scenery around you. Um, the circle, um, this is one where it literally you can set it to circle around a particular object or a particular subject, um, which obviously it could be yourself. Um, so it goes around you and you get a 360 view of yourself. And Rocket as well, um, this is where it takes off and it just shoots off high in the sky and it can shoot, shoot back towards you as well, which is, um, yeah, obviously those shots can be quite beautiful and, and you can use them social media um, to, to get some good shots. You may have seen Will Smith use that particular feature um, in one of his shots um, quite recently on his Instagram page as well. Um, and Droney, another one as well where this one kind of takes off slowly and goes away from you. Um, but these will be shown in a later video and I'll show you how to actually perform those shots at some point as well, so stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, that's everything from the drone itself. So let me put that to one side. And then the final thing we have here in this box um, was just more spare propellers, but this fits inside the case as well. So when you're on the go, if you have any damage, any, any accidents, you have some propellers on the go in the nice carry case that you can actually instantly change those propellers and keep yourself on the road essentially. Um, so that is the DJI Mavic Mini drone. So let's get the price. So if you live in the UK, um, you can get, you can pick up one of these because this is not the latest version of the Mavic Mini. There is now Mavic Mini 2, which does shoot it in 4K. Um, but as a starter um, for 10, this is, this is more than good enough. And you can actually get a second hand version of this for around 300 pounds. Um, but brand new, they're going for around three, 350 pounds, which is not really much different. So they do hold their value very, very well. Um, there are some retailers such as Argos um, that have done deals um, every now and then, special deals where the price is 240, 250 brand new. Um, this is for the Fly More combo, by the way. Um, but in general, um, most retailers and eBay, for example, the price you're looking at for a DJI Mavic Mini is around 300 pound. Um, but 
at that price point, it's, it's, it's kind of an entry-level drone, um, but you don't really get entry-level features. You get kind of top-end features and top quality, so definitely would, would recommend it. Easy to fly, quality imagery, and just fun overall. So that's the DJI Mavic Mini.